it has got the latest version of Windows Phone Denim Update 2 which has got some new features including some of the settings UI and some of the things as well setting UI is now categorized for example if I go into settings from here I can show you that how the kind of categorization they have actually done so if you go into settings you will see the setting UI actually have different headings over there which will tell you what all things are there inside what section and it they become fairly easy to locate this way this is again a very good thing they have done apart from this it has got new features in the Lumia camera which is the Lumia moments and living images so if you open up the camera application you can see there are new things including living images which allows you to take photos with this kind of GIF animation kind of a thing in which you can take photos with a live moment of that and that is why it is called living images apart from this uh, you can always turn it on this feature or you can turn it off so in case you turn it on all the photos which you are going to take in auto mode you will have this effect on all those photos and you can always disable it in case you don't want to use it I normally turn it on and again once you turn it on you will be taken to the camera application over here and this is how the camera application actually looks like and this is how the 13 megapixel camera module gives you the view as far as the viewfinder is concerned taking a look over the settings let's take a look what all we have so we do have different kind of lenses you can use you can always use Lumia refocus you have lenses Lumia selfie as well with which you can take photos and add different kind of filters and effects now taking a look over the camera application we can access some settings over there you do have the option of accessing all the manual controls you can use the Lumia camera application in the pro mode just like you might have seen on the pure view series phones so we do have the option of controlling the ISO you can control over the focus you can do manual focus as well like this as you can see and you can also do a lot more with the white balance as well you can control over the light in case you are taking a low light photo as of now we do have some artificial light if I disable this artificial light and I would like to make this photo slightly better in terms of brightness I can control this thing over there and then you have the option of controlling the uh, other options over here you can actually control the ISO and then we have a lot of other things to do as well and in case you would like to reset everything you can always do it like this apart from this if we take a look over the settings I can show you some more things we have Lumia selfie uh, lens which we can use you have a Lumia refocus functionality as well and then you can go for more lenses again when it comes to the camera key press and hold you can change these actions you can also use framing grids in case you would like to use that you can turn on and turn off the living images feature as well so in case you would like to disable this feature you can do that we do have the option of controlling the video resolution so you can actually shoot videos at 1080p as well as at 720p at 30 fps 20 or 24 fps 25 fps and all these things you can actually do with the another new feature which has been added on lumia 640 xl with the new software update is the lumia moments so the moment you launch this application all those videos which you have created you can use those videos and you can create photos from those videos at specific frame you can either choose the best frame or you can create an action shot from that so let us use the first option first of all it will load that video which you have recorded from this device and you can also do it with third party videos as well which you might not have recorded from the phone and you can do it on any video so this is how this video actually is there uh, this is how it actually goes through so I recorded the video in this way by moving it like this and I can show you the video first of all I guess before I go into this application and see what it does first of all we go to the photos application and we will show you the videos which I have captured so this is the video which I have captured and if I play this video you can see how does it actually look like so I captured a 360 degree video of this action figure in this way and now in case I would like to capture one of the frame of this video as an image I can do it with the help of the Lumia moments application so we have the Lumia moments application over there I can select this video and once I select it I can go for the, for the option choose best frame and once I select the option choose best frame it will basically load this video and once it loads the video we can actually select the best frame out of this one 
so here we have the video and it has split the video into different frames and if I move the slider here you can see I can stop it here yeah and I can save this as an image so this is how you can extract images from the videos which you have recorded from this phone which is definitely a very good thing and this is called Lumia Moments in the new Windows Phone update. Talking about the front camera, the front camera on this phone is also very good. It has got a 5 megapixel fixed focus front camera and it does have the kind of face detection you should have from the front camera. So you can take pretty good photos and it is a wide angle front camera. So you can not only capture yourself but a lot of people on your sites from this wide angle front camera. I can just take a photo and show you the quality. So we have just taken the photo I can show you the quality which you can take from the front camera and again I have turned on the living images so it has taken the shot in a way in which it has captured some moments for some seconds before taking the photo so living images feature is not only supported at the rear camera but it is also supported from the front camera which is definitely a very good thing so this is the kind of quality you get on the front camera which is a very good quality I would say I have taken this photo in low light the kind of details it has captured is very nice again the collaboration is also done very nicely I would say it is a pretty good wide angle front camera and you can take very good photos from this phone both in low light and in daylight photos are going to look very good one more thing which is there inside the settings on this one with the new windows phone 8.1 update 2 is the app permission so once you go into app permissions you can specify which all application can access all these five things including calendar whether the calendar can be accessed by a facebook application make my trip application or wechat you can turn it off or turn it on you can do that and when it comes to other things you can also control over which application can access your camera on this one which is a definitely a good thing I would say and they have given these options not only for camera and calendar but you can do it for contacts messaging and microphone so in case you don't want your contacts to be leaked or accessed by any other application you can turn the option over there off for example Facebook cannot access your contacts anymore once you make this toggle go off so this is another way of filtering what application can do what on your phone so that you have a privacy in control another good thing they have provided on this one is the glance screen and again on the glance screen you can actually see that you can control over the interval you can actually have it differently function as per the peak always on or off you can always do that you can turn it off as well and you can also show it after an interval of 15 minutes automatically so that you can see with all which all notifications are there it will give you a quick status of notification and exceptions is always show the glance screen on charging in case you would like to see glance screen all the time when you are charging the device you can see it and you can also enable the night mode in which the, in which the glance screen will have different colors red blue green all these things as per the time which you specify so all these options are given on this one with the glance screen which is much more enhanced this time you also have call and sms filter which allows you to filter the incoming calls outgoing calls so in case you would like to block certain calls coming from certain numbers you can do that with the help of the inbuilt feature you can also do it for sms as well now we also have pedometer sensor on this one and that sensor functionality can also be controlled so we have a motion data option under settings under extras and once you tap on this one you will see how this phone is actually capturing data it is actually tracking whenever you are walking whenever you are running and whenever you are in a car and this is the kind of basic data tracking it is doing you can also make it detailed in case you would like to see all these activities including cycling as well so it will basically track all those places you have visited once you enable this option and it can provide this data to applications which are there using this data so in this way you can actually use your phone and track the kind of daily schedule you have in case you are walking more you can track the steps with the help of this data which is provided and you can control how much of data is accessible by third party application in this case for example we have fitbit which is going to be there on this phone coming pre-installed and you can control how much of data fitbit can access when it comes to touch settings we do have those as well especially you can actually wake up the phone by double tapping on the screen which we already showed you and navigation bar is also there which can 
be on vibrate when using the navigation key so in case you would like the phone to vibrate whenever you tap on these navigation buttons on the screen it will do that and you will get a haptic vibration feedback especially for those who would like to get this feedback they can enable it or so we have got the benchmark score and the utility has completed the benchmark we have got a score of 241.56 and we can always publish the scores as well by tapping on ok and again this score indicates that this device is pretty good on the basis of hardware which includes the cpu data write speed which is this much and then we have the gpu acceleration which gives you 36 frames per second we have data write speed which is approximately 48.7 m megabytes per second and we have the memory read speed of 38.09 megabytes per second which indicates that this device can also perform pretty good in case 4g is being used on 3g it will work pretty well and here we have the cpu speed which is also pretty good it can perform operations pretty nicely we can take a screenshot or go back let me just quit the application and now i will show you the gaming performance of this phone so we have a game which is called subway surfer which is a casual one however this phone is capable of running some high definition games or some heavy graphic intensive games like asphalt 8 as well but let's start with the subway surfer with which you can actually see how smooth the gaming is on this one especially with casual games high definition games are also responsive and smooth